Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Monday. It's July 1st. This will be our chart lesson for today. And real quickly before we get started, it's going to be a short week. Um, Thursday is uh, July 4th. The market, that's uh, a trading holiday. I've, the market will be open to noon. We all always talk about this, but don't don't try to trade that stuff. Not live anyway. You, you can, you know, usually there's not much movement. And you enter a trade and you just get stuck in it and then they kick you out. It, it, it closes early and you end up taking a loss or whatever. So don't try to trade that stuff. Take the day off. Uh, it's not worth trying to trade on those holidays like that. And uh, Friday is a regular day it looks like. But um, most of your professional traders and people that trade full time are probably going to take that day off too. I know I am anyway. Um, I can promise you it will probably be a slow uh, probably a slow day, low volume. Now, as soon as I say that, it'll probably be the best movement of the year. But generally, that day, a day like that, that's squeezed in there between a holiday and the weekend, will just be an extra day off for most people, and there probably won't be a lot of volume or volatility. So we'll see what it does. But uh, I'm guessing it, it probably won't be worth your time. Um, so, but regardless, I'm going to take it off, and so. Uh, we'll just be trading Monday. It'll just be a chart lesson Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week. And, uh, of course, Thursday's the 4th, and then I'll take off Friday. I'm going to take that whole weekend and uh, going on a trip. So, anyway, let's get to today's chart since we've got that behind us. Um, you can see we're still in this congestion here. Prices are trying to work down to this midline. But notice this blue trend channel and this trend line working up through here. And once again, it looked like prices were finally going to close outside that trend line. And lo and behold, uh, before the day's over, they rally it back up and it just closes just inside. So um, as of now, we still have no close outside this blue uh, trend line. And we're still really just kind of chopping sideways. That's congestion right there. So, which is just a, it was just basically that's a micro range is what that is. And we could probably go ahead and draw that now and be accurate with it. So, we just got a little micro range there. Now, how long that'll go or last, we'll just have to see. But, once again, as I said, we still close inside that trend line. So this upward trend does not have a close outside yet, a convincing close outside of it even yet. So we'll see what uh, the rest of this week brings. I, my guess is the rest of this week might be quiet. Uh, we'll just have to see. But let's flip over to the 2000 tick chart. Uh, take a look at that and go through the trades and we'll wrap one of our three days this week up. And here's our 2000 tick chart. You can see we did have one news item up here today, uh, PMI manufacturing. And so that was, you need to be flat 10 minutes or so going into that just for a couple of minutes until it looks like the market's back to normal. So you had this little area kind of blocked out. And that means just don't take a trade in that block. Uh, but the rest of the day was fair game up until, of course, 2.30, which we don't take any trades after 2.30. So we normally... If you're new, normally you can start trading this market around 7 a.m. if you want. Um, a lot of times that's your best trading from 7 to 10, 7 to 9. Um, lately, that hasn't necessarily been the case. Seems like we we sometimes we the mornings are terrible and we maybe get a few trades in the afternoon. So, but it is what it is. Generally, a lot of times on Monday. The volume's kind of low early on, then it picks up steam. You can see it kind of picked up steam here, um, but not much going on. So anyway, let's zoom in here, and we'll go through the trades. Okay, 7 o'clock came just as we're topping out here. You do make a lower high here. It's not a very good signal bar. I don't think it qualifies as a signal bar, but regardless... You don't have a break or a convincing close outside this green channel yet. So notice that you finally get a break here. Now somebody will probably ask me this. Um, you could look at that as a 
second entry, uh, but this is just sideways here. So this just looks like one leg down, then we get a correction, then you get your other leg down, and you can draw a trend line right there. You see the break, we drop down, and you pretty much make a double bottom. Now it does make a new low, but this is clearly two legs back. You don't have a retest of this high yet on this green channel. Uh, this is one of those where a second entry, I'm going to take it. And uh, notice you get your two legs up to a new high, and then it sells off. Perfect price action, just kind of how we teach it and what you expect to happen. Um, and then it reverses. And then, of course, we got this channel run, working now. You do get a close outside. That's the first entry. There's not even. There's only two bars there. You really need at least three trending bars, or at least three bars. Sometimes they don't always all three trend. At least two of them. But I like to see three trending bars before I consider that a micro trend. And so you don't have anything right here but just sideways action with a little failed break higher. It's close to being a triple test. I don't think we quite got there. Maybe you take that as a triple test uh, because it is there is a, a certain trend, uh, trend channel down there and that's the first break outside. But there's a, often a good chance you're going to get two legs, and it could turn down and hit that EMA. If there was more room back to the EMA, maybe. See, like here, you almost have room to scalp out. Here, you probably do have room to scalp out. Uh, but here, you don't. And a lot of times, it'll trade down and touch it and make that next leg up and then turn down. So maybe you take that trade. Maybe not. And, of course, uh, you get a break there and move to a new low, and then... It looks like it's going to make a second leg, and the bottom kind of falls out of it. We, it. To me, this looks like a big overshoot. And that takes us into the news item, so you don't want to do anything anyway. And it does rally here. Gets a quick sell-off. Um, and then suddenly it breaks and turns straight down. And there is a second entry here, but this is just sideways. There's no... Um, there's not room to get out. There's a double. There's really a kind of a triple bottom there, so not somewhere you really want to go short. And unfortunately, you don't get another chance. It just rockets down. There is a second entry here. Notice the new low. First entry, second entry. But there's a double. I mean, it's congested. There's not much room to the lows. And I don't think you could get in this anyway. It kind of gaps over and takes off. So I don't know if you'd have got in it anyway, even if even if it would have been a qualifying entry. Um, we do make a higher low right here, but it's, it's just kind of a three bar matching low there. Um, so you could almost call that a higher low. It still looks congested and there's still resistance right across there. That's another one you say, okay, maybe I make that green. And originally I had this, the, these is the lows overnight lows and this, like we were trying to make a measured leg, but we couldn't ever get there, never got close to a measured leg. So I ended up drawing, you know, just making this the full range. And you can see the midlines coming into play in there. So I think this is correct. Uh, of course, you still have to play these shorter term trends and so forth in here. But maybe you take that trade and then you come back, you get a trend working back up, you get a break, new high, and you try to go higher three times. And you get that nice bearish bar on a triple test. Just go short there. Again, you notice you got room back to the EMA. And this thing just kind of bottom falls out of it. It takes off. There's another second entry short right here. But there's too much stem. That signal bar right there does not qualify. And I think I already mentioned, this doesn't quite make it back to call out a triple test. Um, maybe it's, it's, it's really moved too far there and come back to be a lower high. That is the first convincing close outside, so there's a good chance you could make a new low. The problem is it, it just might push higher again here. So maybe you make that green, but I think you're I think you're better off to skip that one. And of course we bounce down here at the previous lows, and that's the low of the day now. Uh, look how far away we are from the EMA, and this does make a new. Uh, there's a two bar matching high and this makes a higher high than that. So you can treat that as a new swing high and it is a first entry, second entry. So you do get a break and two legs down. And this thing takes off out of there, pulls back and it breaks higher right there and gives you a 
first entry and then it turns lower again and turns up so when it breaks above this bar that's the second entry long you do make a higher low here but it also still looks like kind of like two legs back to the key entry point and that does confirm the key entry point so I like that as a higher low second entry long uh, two legs back um, very nice signal bar it broke lower first and turned up if it would have went by in the engulfing bar you could have traded it uh, so pretty nice entry we finally touch the highs up here and we come we start going sideways and get a little failed break lower well, unfortunately not a good enough signal bar and then we get into this chopping sideways um, that's a first entry right off the key entry point I think you got to wait on a higher low or second entry or something and you, you get that right here but I think there's too much stem there so this just kind of looks like sideways stuff and you can see it turns back down here um, although it is still bouncing off the key entry point uh, I just don't think you want to go long there's just too much stem there it looks like almost a it's almost a neutral doji type bar if it would have closed a couple of ticks higher maybe you take that trade but I just don't think you can take it like that and then this of course is a doji very neutral and even though it takes off you just can't enter there and of course now you've had a break and a new high but you also get an overshoot here it looks like and notice how we're chopping sideways you get that failed breakout but it closes back inside that resistance there I like going short there just to ride it back to the EMA maybe you get a reversal maybe you don't uh, but that's a quick easy scalp and it does go lower um, you get another second entry long right here notice how it comes back to the high and then you get a first entry second entry um, that one's really tempting but this is just a little congestion area and originally I had it a little higher here but when it made this lower close I adjusted it a little bit um, so uh, I just don't think you want to take that second entry long there uh, with this big overshoot so um, it does run quickly back to the top and test that across there. and there's a lower high uh, there's a triple test there with a decent signal bar but that really looks like congestion I don't know if you can even see that let me zoom in there but you can see all that sideways stuff and it's still kind of respecting the trend line there so notice how even when it broke lower it did for a minute before it went lower and this but again you don't get a good enough signal bar it does make a lower high I'm sorry a lower low we made a lower low here than this one and then we made a lower low here from this one generally you want to wait on those a uh, higher low or something this does both of these do close inside but here's it's hard to even say that's definitely a double bottom here I'd say okay you got you, you probably got a triple test here if you wanted to call it that and uh, you could say there's a second entry long there as well the signal bar is just iffy and you don't really have a break outside and a close on the low on this channel and you can see it working down so I think it's a little too risky to go long there and of course you get a channel back up close outside move to a new high and I like that one um, because this is played out it's a second entry short um, notice the leg back first entry leg up second entry you're a little ways away from the EMA so it's probably gonna snap back and test this this breakout area again um, right now you're just playing the failed failed breakout with a second entry short runs down bounces again again you got a channel working down signal bar this week and you're just chopping along here and then finally you get a little failed break lower that makes a two bar match in low and it closes on top if it breaks above that you're probably going back to the other side it doesn't quite get back up to the highs but it, it clearly gets an easy scalp and then turns back down so I like going long on that one just calling that a triple test we actually could call that a quadruple test um, just just looking at it as a triple test let's show, I'll show you this here it is one two 
three. And it's a very bullish bar, so it breaks above that. It's probably going higher. And then it just, uh, notice you made a new low there. And then you get a first entry, and it turns up again and fails and turns down. So that, when it goes blast those two bar matching lows, that's the second entry short. And you got plenty of room back down to these lows. I like that one. And this thing just keeps going. What looked like might just be a quick scalp turns into be a fairly nice move. And then notice you get a break lower that fails and turns up here. So being that far away from the EMA on a breakout with a higher low, uh, it's probably going to fail and you can ride that at least back to the EMA. And notice too, that does make a new high. So that's a first entry, then it turns lower and turns back up. So when it goes past the top of that bar, that's a second entry long. So you got a second entry long. Uh, failed break lower here and uh, way away from the EMA you expect it to snap back and sure enough it does this and you could have uh, managed this trade well in the after 230 you just don't want to take any new trades well you can manage them but I, I'd probably exit out of this when I went into this sideways congestion here but there it is that's the way I saw it today just a big range big sideways day that kind of closes really very similar to where it closed the market has not re back reopened yet so it closed almost equal to the previous trading day on the daily chart so but there it is uh, not much else you can say about today it's just a big mixed trading day big range uh, with some trends up and down and a lot of sideways stuff and a lot of mixed trading here as well. So uh, anyway, hope you had a good trading day. I'm going to wrap it up. We got two more Tuesday and Wednesday, and that's going to wrap up our week due to the holiday. So make sure you make note of that. And um, I'm going to wrap it up. So this is this is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.